Hey there producers and welcome now to Monday. Well, partly cloudy and a bit spaced out, maybe even moody for the next 36 hours. The moon is in Aries, transiting your house of subconscious karma and faith in yourself. So emotionally you're dealing with issues of faith in yourself or issues with your karma. Don't be too surprised if you want to kind of act out against some stranger on the street or something kind of random. What's really going on is you're being triggered emotionally on a deep level. And that's really the process of a moon in the 12th house. It's to kind of make conscious your subconscious emotions. So just pay attention and don't act out. Now, over the weekend, we had a major spiritual investment into everyone on the planet with the idea of a solar eclipse. The Earth, the Moon, and the Sun all lining up in the sign of Pisces. That gravity creates almost a bulge of energy in Pisces, and that deployed for Taurus is in the house of friends and society. So wherever your mind was in the last 24 hours about your place in society, the type of friends you want to have, the type of reputation you want to have in society, your thoughts around those topics just got a huge investment of gravity and direction. This lasts for a few weeks, I find, and I do also find in my experience that you start seeing things showing up or manifesting as soon as three or four days later. Solar eclipses are very powerful. Also, over the weekend, Mercury moved into Pisces, which means whatever direction you were manifesting in with your friends and reputation and society, now you have Mercury there to stay clear and concise and communicate very effectively in that capacity. So it's going to be great intellectual follow through of what you're manifesting. And then lastly, Venus has changed signs. Venus is back home in Taurus, baby. That means that for the next four weeks, you're going to be very creative, very loving, basically rebuilding or kind of revamping your outer appearance, your rising sign, your charisma, your ego. This is in preparation for your birthday period, which will happen in about 32 days or so. But just realize that when it comes to creating new clothes or creating a new image, you're extremely fertile and creative for the next four weeks. All right, Bull, that's all I got for Soul Horoscope. See you tomorrow with more. Live, love, be. So garden.